been great. I haven't seen these guys in so long. It's really cool catching up with the guys. And uh, Billy Ripken informed me that I got taller, which is a good thing. He thought I was 5'9", five, 5'10", five, when he played with me, which I said I've never been 5'9", five, 5'10". Five, he said I look like I'm about six foot now. So that felt, felt good about that. That's a compliment when someone tells you, you know, you're in your 50s and someone tells you you got taller from when you were in your 20s. That's a good thing. Um, but it's just been unbelievable going back over stories, seeing uh, Bob Malacki, my roommate. I, I, we, we keep in touch. I talk to him a few times a year or whatever. But um, just seeing the guys and uh, really cool being back in Baltimore, the atmosphere here, the people are great here. So. How tough was it that last weekend? You go into Toronto and, uh, you know, you can't pitch because of an unfortunate incident. And uh, Yeah, I, I don't know. I was somewhere between excited to pitch the biggest, what may be the biggest game of my, well, definitely to that point, the biggest game of my life and maybe forever to being terrified of pitching the, the biggest game and having the weight of the world on my shoulders. So, But, um, you know, things happen for a reason. Like I said, DJ came in and pitched great. Um, and and uh, when, when I couldn't go, he took the post and pitched unbelievable. It couldn't have worked out better for the club as I look back on it. Frustrating. I, I was looking forward to the experience. It was really, really would have been awesome. But uh, just a freaky, fluke, weird thing happened, and it was out of my control, really. That whole year, guys having years that they weren't supposed to have. Phil Bradley just said he's probably the worst team he ever, on paper, he ever played for, but one of the most rewarding that he ever played on. I, I vividly remember two, two or three things stick in my mind in general when I first think about 1989 here. And, and one is the opening day win against Roger Clemens was unbelievable. Um, coming off the year prior, the year before, and being regarded as maybe the worst team in the big leagues and having five or six when I was on the mound, or Bobby was on five or six rookies out there at one time or whatever it was, four or five in the lineup at a time, young as young as we were. Um, that win, the defense, you know, I'm a pitcher, so that stuff sticks in my mind a little more, but the defense, the outfield defense, the infield defense, I, if I remember right at the time, I thought maybe it was some kind of record for – least errors team-wise or something. Didn't we set some kind of baseball or some American League, whatever. But, you know, Billy, Cal, um, Worthy at third. Randy Milligan played great at first base. He wasn't, you know, it was just kind of new at the first base. The outfield bringing balls back from over there. I remember there was some, we set some kind of record for bringing home runs back or whatever. It was just an insane, every play, every dive, every throw, the defense was, was insane, and I really appreciated it because I needed it because I was, back then I, I had a tendency to walk a few people, put some people, get myself in some jams. You know, I could tell because when I look in the dugout, Frank was walking up and down, throwing his arms up, wondering what the hell I was doing. So I kind of got the message that I wasn't doing what I was supposed to be doing. But some of those plays really bailed me out. But uh, that's how I remember most of defense. How about the pitching coach you worked under that? It was Al Jackson, Sure. Wasn't it? Yeah, Al was great. Uh, always positive. Always uh, learned a lot from him. I'm, I'm a pitching coach now. And um, I've taken a lot of things from, from Al, you know, always uh, – Glass half full, no matter how bad. And I had some rocky times. I was young. I was, you know, very anxious when I was on the mound back then. Uh, I, I, I had stuff to, to strike him out, but I, I, I put him on too. You know, I, I definitely walked too many people. Um, so I get myself in a lot of jams and kind of work myself out of them. It's very, it was a fatiguing way to go about it. But back then, that's 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 the hand I was dealt with. But he was always, uh, always staying positive with me and keeping me pumped up and. Uh, Always a good joke, always a smile, always a laugh. Good, really good man. What stands out most to you about that, just the entire year and the entire experience of that year? Um, again, I keep going back to, to, to the, the defense. Um, there's no question the clubhouse was awesome. You know, Billy never shut his mouth. You know, he, he, he knew he, he, was, he was loud all the time. Um, I, I, I was never shy, even though I was a rookie. I was never shy of speaking up and uh, – we had a lot of – it was a lot of fun, man. We, we, we had a, a really good bunch of guys, some from other places, kind of patched together. Rookies, first time on the job, not a lot of veterans. Uh, Cal, you know, obviously Cal was there. We had some veterans, but just a bunch of guys feeling their way in the big leagues for the first time and, and, and coming together and supporting each other and, 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 and doing things the way we did them was, was pretty special. You know, there's a thread this entire time we've been talking to 15 people. The outfield defense, how important that was to the pitcher. I, I remember vividly, you know, I don't remember perfectly, but I, I remember in Anaheim pitching a game, and I guess was Lance Parrish, could Lance Parrish have been catching for the, for the Angels yeah, at that sure time? He was, yeah. yeah, yeah. I remember him going 0 for 3. I think I struck him out, and the other two were home runs that were brought back. I think Devo brought one back, and I think uh, maybe Brady, was Brady on Brady there? Yeah, Brady. So, um, 
I don't remember because, you know, Finley brought him back. Phil brought him back. They all brought him back, uh, you know. But um, I remember in one game having four balls that if they were not touched would have been four solo home runs. And I wound up throwing seven innings and giving up like one run, and I think we won the game four or five to one. Um, Mark Langston, I believe, was pitching against me. Um, so that's the kind of thing. I just, I just remember that it was, it was like relative – it was regularly three to four home runs a week that we were bringing back with the, with the – and it was unbelievable. It was all, all the time. That, that was – but the infield was just as good. The infield defense was crazy good too. I just, I just remember when I wasn't pitching, sitting down in the dugout watching the games and being like, oh, my God, what a play and what happens if that play is not made. You know, and it always seemed to be with bases loaded or second and third, two outs, Billy diving behind second base, spearing a rocket, one hopper, backhand, throwing the guy out, saving two runs. You know, every play that we needed to make, we made the entire season, it seemed like. Pete, what were some of the emotions after the season ended the way it did? And for you personally, Yeah, I will say this. Yes, the answer to your question, the short answer is yes. Very tough tough to get over. But the way DJ pitched when I couldn't take the post was unbelievable. And I had to look at it, you know, I, I'm not saying right away. It was very disappointing to not win the division and get in the playoffs. And everything and the way the community, you know, got with the why not and the – the signs and the T-shirts and the way this place went crazy. Baltimore took to us that entire year to kind of let the let the community and the fans down, if you will, even though it was a magical ride, tough to get over. But looking back on it, you know, what I w- wish I had been able to pitch, yes. Do I f- could I honestly sit here and tell you I would have done a better job than he did? I don't think I could honestly tell you that. He pitched an unbelievable game, and it just was one of the – like I said, I think he had one or two runs in seven innings. I don't remember exactly what it was, but – he pitched great, and we were in the game to the end, and it didn't work out. That was a great team. The Blue Jays were a great team. We were the worst, you know, going into the season, considered as bad a team as there was in the big leagues, and they were considered probably the best team in the big leagues. I mean, you know, it was David versus Gal- you know, stuff, and it was, it was, it was, it was crazy. But it was uh, an unbelievable ride, and, you know, that's how I had to kind of deal with it.